Hey guys, my name is Joshua and I am an urban farmer and welcome to my basement farm. Today we're going to be talking about growing lettuce indoors. Follow me along as I walk you through my indoor setup. So this is my first attempt at uh, lettuce, growing lettuce indoors intensively. Uh, I just I just cut a little bit of a line in the soil and I just planted the whole seed packet along the line of the middle of the container. And the seed I seed type that I use is a uh, butter crunch. Butter crunch is actually a head type lettuce, as you can see, since it's grown so close together, none of it is really making a bunch or a ball like you would expect a butter crunch. To do. So you have two types of lettuce. You have head type and leafy type. Head type grows into a ball when it is fully mature, and leafy lettuce stays up. So it stays leafy and is better for cut and come, but I got these seeds for free, so I'm just testing stuff out. Right now, this is butter crunch. Butter crunch is actually a head type, but since it's grown so intensively, you can see it's so intensively that it doesn't bunch up into a ball. It's just the whole container is full of, of leaves, so it can't really ball up. Uh, I definitely love the taste of this butter crunch. It is extremely tender right now. In about four days, I'm going to harvest it, and uh, it's uh, cut and come again. So I'm gonna harvest it, and then it'll harvest it down to about one inch above the soil. And then in a few weeks, it'll come back again, and then I can just keep harvesting off of this. This is, in my opinion, a very viable way to grow lettuce indoors for your home, or if you even wanna do a business for it. Not bad at all. I got other attempts that I've done, I got this is romaine lettuce and you got mustard greens and I'm, I've staggered them just because you know I've, I've gotten pots at different times but eventually I plan to do whole rows all at once and every two weeks if you uh, plant new plants every two weeks you should always have a supply of lettuce. Over here is my kale. I'm trying to see how well kale does in containers. So far it's just 30 days in same time as the butter crunch. And so far it's doing really good as well. Um, maybe wait another week or two before I take a cutting from it and see if this grows back as well. But all this is just an experiment. I've got lots to learn and uh, more things to do. What kind of containers am I using? I'm using Home Depot, just regular two foot long container, long container pots that are about seven inches deep or so. Just the small ones. I know if you go to Home Depot, you got the small ones and you got the very big ones. I just get the small ones. It doesn't seem like lettuce needs a lot of soil. As you can see, there's probably only about one or two gallons worth of soil in here. And these plants are thriving and doing very, very well. Lastly, uh, what type of lights am I using? I'm just using 100 watt LED lights. These are from Amazon. These are specifically grow light, but that's not really what you need. You don't really need a grow light. Home Depot sells uh, long four foot shop lights that work just as fine for 30 bucks. These are about 60 bucks. But what I like about these better is that these are more waterproof. You can, you can water your plants from the above row, above shelving. This is my microgreen. So I can water my microgreens up here and don't worry about splashing a little bit of water on top of the light at all. Thank you for joining me here in my indoor setup. More videos to come. I'll try to do them every week and we'll keep learning together. This is still me starting off. I've only been doing this about two months, so continue and subscribe, like, subscribe. I got more content coming.